This video is sponsored by PureVPN. This is the Zion Crane version 2, and for me, it's probably been the best way to create cinematic content on YouTube, but at the same time, it's definitely not perfect. So let's take a look at why I absolutely love it, and both hate it at the same time. PureVPN is an easy way to keep your browsing data secure on all of your devices. With over 2,000 VPN servers and a 31-day money-back guarantee, they offer top-notch protection and great pricing. Check it out at the link in the video description below. So I was sent this Crane 2 earlier this year, and for most of my use this has been great, if not a little bit challenging at times. The Crane version 2 has some really great advanced level features, and if you don't really want to spend upwards of £500 on a gimbal, then it really does offer you the best bang for your buck. In fact, it all starts with a presentation, and for this gimbal, it is great right from the start. Inside the box you'll find a Pelican style case that contains a lot of protective foam to keep the gimbal portable, but also really well protected. And everything you'll need for this gimbal comes inside the case, but there isn't very much room for anything else inside, which I can kind of understand. The design of Crane version 2 is actually really great. It's an all-metal build as you'd expect, but it's also really compact. There's a very minimalistic branding design around the back which I personally think looks great, and overall just in general this gimbal looks really stylish. Not the design even really matters here, but it does just look great in general. And you'll find that a lot of features on the Crane version 2 are actually really well thought out and just make everything really convenient to use. It's just one of those things that makes it feel more like a final revision. Now this gimbal is surprisingly easy to set up. Balancing is definitely not the easiest thing to do on any gimbal, but if you use the arm extension controls well enough you can actually make it really easy to balance the camera each time you go to use it. For me, it only takes about 30 seconds to get the entire rig ready to go, which made it ideal for me when I was shooting in Italy. I don't have separate cameras for photo and video, so the ability to hot swap the camera off and back onto the gimbal was great, and I didn't need to rebalance at any point. And actually, unlike the first revision of the Zion Crane, the version 2 features an easily adjustable balance plate, which makes it a whole lot easier to adjust for lens changes on the go, and just makes the entire balancing process a little bit faster. But I've actually found that certain lenses, like my 25mm f1.7, is actually too light for the gimbal, so it cannot counterbalance that weight. To fix this problem, all I had to do was add a couple of cage pieces from the cage that I have for my G7 body onto the front of the gimbal and that basically counterbalanced the lens and just made it perfect. With my Lumix G7, the 12-60 to lens and the cage over the body to counterbalance the weight of that lens, the whole rig comes to about 2.5 kilos. Over time and with use you will get used to it, but sometimes it can just be painful to get the perfect shot. Just above the handle are the main controls of the gimbal, including a power button, mode button, photo trigger, power zoom controls, along with the central control pad. And in my use I haven't had any use for the shutter or zoom buttons, but the mode and control pads are actually really well thought out, even if they aren't all that great in practice. So there's three decent modes for operating this gimbal, and the first of those is just a pan follow mode, where only the turning axis will follow your movements, and the control pad will serve as tilt control. There's only a certain amount of use cases for this kind of mode. It would be useful if you're tracking a subject that won't shift around in the frame, but the tilt control can be a little bit rough in this mode, and that's where the second mode comes in. When you're in the second mode, the gimbal will follow all of your movements with the handle, and this is how the entire intro of this video was shot. I find this mode to be the most convenient, as it allows you to control the physical motion in the shot, without being distracted by setting up the gimbal to get the right angle. The movement is pretty smooth from stock, but it can actually be adjusted to make it even more buttery. And the third mode is the least useful of them all. It's supposed to be a subject lock where the gimbal won't follow the handle movements at all, but I find this to be a bit more inconvenient as the only real control surface you have is that control pad, and it just isn't ideal for getting cinematic footage at all. I find that the controls are really lacking for this gimbal, especially with that central control dial. Of course, you can use your phone to adjust the position, but if you're using it on your own, it would really take the focus away from the shot and instead onto the positioning. Unfortunately, we're stuck with this 
this fiddly, inconvenient control surface. Another issue that I found with this gimbal is the indicator LED. Now, I was expecting some kind of battery indicator on the gimbal, but there isn't one at all. All you've got is this dual color LED that really doesn't tell you anything at all. And I guess that's where the Crane 2 comes in, but at a much higher price. The only way to tell what capacity your batteries are left on is to connect your phone over Bluetooth, but this may not always be possible whilst you're on a shoot. But having said all of that, the battery life on the Crane version 2 is absolutely insane. I've only ever charged it twice through my entire use, so I'm definitely not concerned about the battery running out midway through a shoot. But of course, your experience could be completely different. Remember with accessories like these, everyone's use will differ slightly, so there's no right or wrong here, just opinion based on experience. Now one really great inclusion from Zion here is the ability to adjust the following rate and the smoothness of the gimbal overall using the Zion Assistant app. I didn't actually know about this for the first couple of months of my use, but once I found it, I was able to get the perfect settings whilst I was in Italy. And actually, just using this gimbal in practice is really, really intuitive. Once you're set up and balanced, it's a matter of just knowing your subject and committing to the shot. Whether you're shooting high action scenes or just slow cinematic shots, it's really hard to go wrong with this gimbal. But the biggest way that I've made mistakes with it is the vertical up and down movement, and you probably noticed it in the opening sequence of this video. Even though I tried my hardest to eliminate this, it's still noticeable in every single shot that I've done. There's no real way to get rid of it in post, so it's just a case of being extra smooth when you're shooting, and most gimbal reviews will show this being an issue, and unfortunately it's just something that will affect your footage at some point. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter what gimbal you get, because most of them do exactly the same thing, and that is just to stabilise your footage. What really matters is your ability to shoot well with one, and it's something that will take some time to learn. Once you can do it, it'll be absolutely amazing, but it just takes a little bit of time to get used to, to try and get the perfect shot. I can 100% recommend this gimbal to anyone who is looking for a new stabiliser, because it offers some pro level features at an amateur level price. It is definitely hard to pass up at this price point. VPN is an easy way to keep all of your browsing data secure on all of your devices. With over 2,000 VPN servers designed to meet any purpose, from unblocking Netflix to getting the best security possible, PureVPN offers top-notch protection with great pricing. Check it out at the link in the video description below.